Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the EPCO number 1017-DC. This is a an adjustable tension ball catch, they call it. Here is one removed from the packaging. The way that I know that these are called is a three-way catch. I'll describe, demonstrate what that means. First, some dimensional properties, and we'll talk about that three-way definition. Overall length of the body, about 2 and 13 sixteenths. Oh, forgive me, about 2 and 11 sixteenths. Overall width, just shy and a half of an inch. Overall height, looks like it's about 9 sixteenths. The strike component, or the detainer component, about an inch and 5 eighths by about 3 eighths. Overall projection of that is about 5 eighths. And then it will include its screw package. You'll need a total of four screws, two for the body and two for the strike. Now, where would you use this and what does three-way catch mean? Let's talk about that now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now, the three-way catch moniker is because you can attach this to your casework, your jam, your door for that matter. You can attach this to the door or to whatever you want it to be attached to. You can have your the orientation of your material like this where you meet it head on. You can turn one of the components, it would be better to show it this way, so that it can approach like this. Or you can flip it all over and have it approach like this. So the strike can approach it from this side, from this side, or from this side. That's the three-way component to this. What that really translates into, when you think about your application, where you're going to mount each of the components, the three-way catch concept gives you great flexibility. Let's say that you had an overlay door and you didn't have anywhere to secure this to. Well, you may be able to secure it to the underside of the, of the face of the cabinet, and then this could be applied to the face of the door so that your door can swing in and grab it this way. Okay? So it all depends on where, what surfaces you have to work with. You know, how, where, do you, where, where are you mandated or obligated or restricted to install this? The three-way component of this allows you to be flexible in that regard. That's where you'll use this. Where are you going to use this? Will it be in cabinet work? It's a little bit large for small uh, kitchen cabinet work. Uh, might be a little... There's probably too much spring tension on these ball bearings, which you can adjust by the slotted preparations in the end of the body here to, rely, uh, to allow that ball to go back with less uh, requirement of compressing the spring inside of there. So you can tailor the amount of force that it'll take to open and close the door. Uh, but larger doors is really where you'll see this, I think. Uh, things that aren't just, you know, 18 by 18 cabinet doors, probably larger material. You might have some cabinetry that has a 2 foot by 4 foot door, something a little heavier. Uh, might be exactly what the application calls for in this EPCO, um, what they call adjustable tension ball catch uh, uh, could be used for. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. Let's take a closer look uh, at the images that we have uploaded first, and here they are. There's the item in its packaging with its screws. And then a, uh, just a variety of different images altogether showing different perspectives. Showing a little blurry, but showing the end. Let's take a look at the balance of the images that are here, the back side of the body. The strike itself, or the keeper, or the detainer, side view of that. The end view, and then its screw package. Extended description information down below, and a lot of drawings here. Let's take a look. Solid base, uh, par pardon me, solid brass um, is what the exposed components are. And a dull chrome type finish, that's what the DC stands for. It's, it's dull, it's a bit of a unichrome, a little shiny, a little dull. 
Screw on top and bottom provide adjustable tension, and they're referring to here. Strike may enter from either side or front. So one, two, three. Poly bagged with strike and screws. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. Let's go through some links that we have here. A catalog cut page. Um, that, that's, let's see if we can find the item, 1017. So this catalog cut that's here um, just shows this part number along with other part numbers that are here as well and different finishes. There's then also a link to the cut sheet that's linked to down below. Let's take a look at that. It's a single page document, catches and touch latches, and shows these different three-way catches that are here. The 1017 is the largest of the family of four of these. And, um, you know, the smaller you go, the more appropriate it is for much lighter duty doors down to cabinet doors would be the 1011. You know, there's no real guidance that I can give you in terms of how big of a door would or how light or heavy of a door would lead you in a particular uh, direction. Small cabinet doors and kitchens, I'd go with the 1011. Anything, you know, that's clearly heavy, I'd go with the 1017 and then probably in between, um, you know, using my best judgment after I've, I've tried one is the bottom line. They have four. Most people offer, there are other people who offer these, but uh, three is pretty typical, or even two. They have four different sizes available. Okay, there's also then several links down below, 3D drawings and 2D drawings. Let's just look at them for the fun of it. That's out of their CAD software, apparently. That file is broken. We'll fix that. Bingo. 2D AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so this is literally going to be a DWG D drawing. Let's fire that up because we can. I'm going to pause the video while the uh, while AutoCAD loads. Okay, AutoCAD has loaded for me and let's get it brought down into the screen so you can see it. There you go. Does it matter? Probably not to you, but there's going to be one out of a thousand people that are happy to know that that drawing exists. Another uh, AutoCAD drawing. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Probably the strike would be my guess. Yep, exactly. So here you go. Fun. Very good. Okay, now we'll close up AutoCAD. And to wrap up this video, there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page. From here, you can pull up not only all of the EPCO products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. I would recommend reviewing that because EPCO is a name synonymous with um, a really great interesting offering of different builders hardware woodworking company uh, woodworking companies are very typical clients of ours this client who bought these literally uh, is a large client of ours uh, out on the west coast and they do extremely extreme uh, high-end applications um, they're well respected within the industry and they draw on EPCO products incorporating that material into their greater designs uh, and offerings all the time. So I would recommend that you review this catalog just to know what they have, or at least to, I suppose, scroll through it so that you have a greater understanding of what all EPCO does. They don't just do three-way latches is what I'm driving at. Lots of trim, uh, trim pieces and different uh, strikes, latches, things of that nature. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, this is what the EPCO uh, adjustable tension ball catch, the 1017 and a DC. That cut sheet also shows you the different finishes that are available as well. Um, so you might want to refer to that. I didn't 
indicate that when we were looking at the cut sheet, but there are those different finishes. Um, the name Epco, again, is synonymous with a tremendous offering of this material, but what is also notable about their name, sorry about the sound, um, is their ability to produce items and ship them out very quickly. They're, they're a couple of days, um, predictably, reliably, dependably. Unless you need 4,000 of something that their sales history doesn't justify they keep more than 1,000 of, um, yeah, they're going to get that out the door pretty quick. Plan ahead, obviously. Uh, this is construction. You want to plan ahead and be prepared. But they're really great when it comes to just getting an order and getting it gone. Um, real hardware people there. They are not just order takers. That's for sure. Any questions on the 1017-DC adjustable tension ball catch and the dull chrome finish or any other EPCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.